my name is Sister Veronica Wamboy, and I got involved with Montessori many years ago. My name is Milka Cherotich. I am a Montessori teacher working at Conor My name is Francesca Kipsoi. I am working with Montessori for Kenya. The Montessori method entered in Kenya from Nairobi by a, a, um, a priest called Father Robert Vuj. What we have with the, the method of Montessori and the children here in Kenya is now they are being helped to use the, what they already know from home, especially in practical life. So they are able to, add, to develop using simple materials and they already have that uh, experience from home. I am from Nakuru, Kenya, and I'm teaching at Konarofo Montessori School. After the post-election violence, people came together in one place where the government uh, allocated them in only one a small piece of land, and there we have so many children. And uh, Montessori decided to start a school there in the community where we all, we have more than 300 children in the in the same environment. The main problem of the people who live around here is that they don't have an identity. They don't have a home where they can say, this is my home and this is where I will stay for the rest of my life. In Akuru, the location of Montessori is uh, within the town and in the outskirts of, Na of Nakuru. And now, as we talk, we have uh, reached out to very remote places in Nakuru, um, in West Pokot where they are nomadic people, that um, they are able to come together and the children learn. And then we have somewhere called Samburu, where they move, the schools move with the people, the nomads. So they kind of, they are called like uh, mobile schools. So they don't have to go to school, the school is taken to them. We go inside the villages, Finding the children inside, those ones, that are, you may find them, they are old, they are old enough, they have never gone to school. We took a motorbike, we go to the, some places and bring those children here. So we, this, this system or this kind of education even changes the way parents to take about, about education. So most of the teachers from New Canaan live in the community and actually they, are, they have their houses which were constructed from the same project. The classroom was a cow shed and with a bit of renovations and repairs it started off you know with open windows, there were no doors but the teachers came from Nakuru, that is the pipeline area, and came and started with the children. So this is how it started. What I find that matches with my ideal education, it's the practical part of it, that the children are able to work with materials that help them to develop naturally. Since we started the, the project, there is a good relationship with, between myself as the head of the school and the community. We don't have any, any issue with them and they don't have any issue with me. Most of the children from this community cannot afford to pay school fees or to, to pay for lunch. In primary school, children pay for their lunch and uh, most of them do not afford. But the children who come to corner of Hope Kisima, they get free lunch and they get free snacks. And this is why we get so many children every year coming here because most of the parents are not, up, they're not able to provide for them all the meals. Montessori method and peace, they work hand in hand because once the teacher, the way the teacher is taught the principles, how they treat the child, how they work with the child in the, in the classroom environment. They, they, they work with, uh, they are taught courtesy. They are taught how to speak, how to communicate to others. They are taught how to, um, how to learn from each other, how the older ones can help the young ones. This system brings all kinds of children all tribes in the same class, different ages in the same class. So this helps the community to have peace, it maintains peace. 
it creates a kind of a peace to them. Also, as they work with their materials and the soft spoken language that is done by the teachers, it calms the child. In Montessori, we advocate for peace, where all the children from everywhere, all tribes come together and they live together and that promotes peace. I can remember the particular situation where it makes me proud of being a Montessori teacher. It's when the teacher, the children, even during evening time when they are supposed to go back home, they refuse to go back even when their parents have come to pick them to go back home and the children are refusing. They want to still stay in the environment because they like being in their own environment, the Montessori environment. The future for Montessori education, if you ask me, I'm quite, um, I'm quite ambitious because I know Montessori has been in Kenya for many years and the many years that we have seen, it is growing. There are a lot of inquiries on the Montessori method. The teachers who have been trained from the corner of Hope community, they are out there teaching, they don't lack jobs. So Montessori education uh, and the Montessori method is out there, very much alive and it is growing. The future of my children, according to the Montessori way, is that it will be a brighter future for them because they will know since the Montessori teacher follows the Montessori child, so the, ch the children's life in the future will become uh, actually better for, the, for them. <laughs>